Hi guys, uh, today I'm going to demonstrate the update of 1.2 of the MetaPipe and a lot of things change, all of the workflow is changed. I think you will like it. Let's show you what I did for this tool. So I will open up our 1.2 and as you can see it is now more simple than the previous version. A lot of buttons are gone and it is more simple, faster, better and more accurate transformations. So in this workflow you only need DNA pads and that's it. All of the other things uh, you will change in the code. So let's update it and open DNA Viewer. In this DNA Viewer it is the same. I copy this pad and paste this here, load DNA, select all, joints, blend shapes, skin cluster and Go to DNA calibration, data, GUI, analog, analog GUI, and after assembly process. And it loaded, and I will close this DNA viewer. And I think this is a one time process. So you can go here, file, and save it as I will save it to the DNA calibration data. Uh, custom DNA and yes. So if anything goes wrong, uh, go back to this scene and make your change from here. You can start from this file. So <clears throat> first thing first, it is the same previous version. Load DNA and wait a second to load it. And then batch import, go to your custom files and import all of your files, including the body. So in here, as you can see, I made a character in a different height and I will show you how we can transfer this character to this character. And as you can see there are some joints in here and they have not reference points or reference mesh. So that we need to have body mesh in this scene as well. So I'll go back. Here is the order. First select the head and then left eye, right eye, body and click on join transformation. And that's it. And I'm going to show you how faster it is. It is now real time calculating and you will see that it is like 10 seconds or 15 seconds, something like that. I won't clip this and as you can see it's done. And let's see joints. As you can see it is perfectly matched. And I know that this kind of mount won't work. Uh, this is a problematic mount. I suggest that use regular mount shape and don't use this kind of mount. But uh, this is a challenge for myself. I will uh, work on this and I will make it work for the metahuman. This is a, just a quick sculpt that I did yesterday in just one hour. It's gonna be challenging, but we'll figure it out. So as you can see, body is in the correct position as well. This, everything is perfect, so we can save our DNA. Now it saved our DNA and let's hide joints and hide the other parts. I don't want teeth, saliva, eye shell, eyelashes and cartilage, eye edge. Invert selection and I will hide them. And let's test our rig. In here, this is the ears. Let's see if the mouth is working or not. Oh, actually not that bad. Not that bad for the job. Yeah, I think I can make it working with a couple of corrective blend shapes. And this is the eyes. Yeah, and let's batch import our mess again. Teeth and the body. First, don't forget to prepare to export and then select your body, build body. And it is that easy. And here is our body worked. And as you can see, there is an error, but it is coming from the body file that you saved from the MetaHuman original file. It comes from the shaders, something like this. Ignore this one. This error is not important and you don't need to write to Discord for that. Just show joints and turn on the x-ray. Just move around your skeleton and if it's working, it's working. If it's not, you can come to Discord. So 
spot. As you can see, now our body is matching with our head and also it is working with root DRV as you can see and also they are not separated you can rotate it together also look at for the arms yeah let's look at the leg so the skinning also looking great but yeah the skinning looks like this maybe we can make it better but looks like this and everything is working so as you can see it is working with any kind of shape any kind of body any kind of head that is same with the metahuman pose and also humanoid it is working on the humanoid yeah it is working now with different heights perfectly i will hide joints also put this in here i will delete those files in the body as well i will delete them and i will assign different shaders to each so i quickly assigned different shaders for each for the materials inside Unreal engine and we are ready to go so we can export this by clicking here now i'm in unreal engine and i prepared the file it is same with the part 7 of the free tutorials all of the process is same in here so i did not record it and let's test it metapipe characters are created from metahuman basements and and back. and as you can see it is a row uh, metahuman animator tests that I did previously and it looks like it's looking great <laughs> and this posing also great and also I want to show you something so uh, I didn't know that but let me show you in here if i select the original skin material of the body or the head the mesh is changing like this i selected this one and this is happening i don't know why it is happening but if this is happening go to materials and select the other material the material that you didn't use so I hope it will fix your problem and sometimes it makes some gaps and if you just having this issue just change the material or create your own materials it will help a lot to fix that and that's it I hope you like it and good luck with your materials bye